Yeah. Where, where are we going? We are going to Pondamali. We are going to fight against abortion. That is the motion. Yet, we know that it is done hiddenly, but we have to fight against it. Because God himself said, do not murder. And yet people are, murder, are murdering innocent children. And the Bible tells us, whoever speaks on behalf of those who can speak on, the, on themselves, God will be their shield so, and will be upon them. We have decided to stand firmly and ponder mali. It's a market where people do sell vegetables, all kinds of foods, even clothes and yet people do go there to communicate so we've decided to go and give them the message because there are those that who don't even go to church yet you might talk a single word and bring them back This beautiful child here, this beautiful child was murdered, butchered, butchered in Rwanda with the panga because he was the wrong tribe. This beautiful baby was butchered in Rwanda because he was the wrong tribe between Hutus and Tutsis. And today we're making a comparison between this baby butchered in Rwanda and this baby butchered in the United States of America killed legally in the United States of America through legalized abortion. This is abortion in the first trimester, only 10 weeks, 10 weeks after conception, this baby was legally murdered. In one week, in one week it will be the 40th anniversary, that means 40 years ago, America legalized to kill a baby in the womb for any reason the mother chooses. Any reason the mother chooses, up to the day of birth, from the day of conception, up to the day of birth, the mother can legally murder a child of God, a child of God. So, with this poster we're saying, what's the difference? What is the difference between murdering this child, as was killed in Rwanda, and this beautiful baby who was murdered in the United States of America? The richest nation on earth murdering her children, legally murdering the children of God in the womb of a woman. And these children have no protection in the womb of the woman. They have no protection in America. In America. And you know, Satan hates children. Look at the children who are standing here today. Satan wishes every one of them was dead. Satan hates people. Amen? Amen. Does anyone know Satan hates you? everyone here because you're made in the image of God because on Christmas Day 2012 years ago Satan let me tell you Satan was defeated by a child in the womb of a woman amen sure if you'd like to yeah. Yeah. I'm saying on Christmas Day 2012 years ago, Satan was defeated by the baby Jesus in the womb of Mary. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because of this, Satan hates babies. Satan loves to see every country legalize abortion. Let me tell you, it is the plan of Satan to kill as many children in Kenya before they are born. In the United States of America, in the past 40 years, since we made abortion legal, in January of 1973, in those 40 years, 55 million dead babies. 55 million murdered. 
babies. With no protection from the police. With no protection from the government. In fact, in America, the nation that was conceived by the will of God, they have turned away from God to the point of murdering 55 million babies. These babies made in the image of God. So what we're saying is when America judges the nations for genocide and they present themselves and places like the world court they present themselves as the judges of the whole earth they say we are the judges of the whole earth and yet these very nations of Europe of America have legalized the butchery to butcher the most innocent people Think of that, 55 million. You have many orphanages in East Africa. Also in the USA, once upon a time we had many, many orphanages. But today there are very few orphanages in America. Do you know why? Can you see why? 55 million since 1973. 55 million. These are the orphans of America. Thrown away like trash! Thrown away like trash! And America wonders why she's in debt. Let me tell you, America wonders why there are not enough workers. And these hypocrites make themselves the judges of every nation on earth. When in fact these rich nations of Europe the United Kingdom and America which have legalized the butchery of God's children you see, they have made themselves the judges but the word of God has judged them the word of God has judged them America brought Christian missionaries to many countries of Africa for many, many years. But now today, the same country which brought the gospel of Jesus, the same country which brought the gospel of obedience and submission to God, has backslidden from the law of God, has gone like a dog when a dog throws up. And what does a dog do when a dog vomits? The dog eats something. Ah. It doesn't feel good. The dog goes. Ah. And then he looks at that and he says, Ah. It looks. It looks good. Let me eat it again. That's what the dog does. Sindio. Sindio. That's what the dog does. America. Europe. And the UK, America, UK, na, na Europe, na, have, na, na Europe, have done like dogs, kama umbwa, like pigs, kama being washed. They go back again and roll in the shit. Like a dog throwing up the poison, he goes back again and eats it again. Sinio. Amen. Now may God forbid.
that the people of Africa, that the people of Kenya and East Africa, should now follow the example of the USA. Me, I'm an American. My name is Jonathan, but I'm a servant of the living God. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My people, and I don't say this with gladness, my people have become a great prostitute, even a great Satan. What do I mean by that? A great persecutor, a great deceiver of the children of God. On the outside, the things of America, the things of the West, the things of Europe, they look good. They look good, don't they? But on the inside, let me tell you, today I have shown you what is on the inside. Hypocrisy and 55 million dead children. Can we turn this around? Trade with you. Again, here is a baby murdered in the first trimester. The first three months of pregnancy. Only ten weeks. That's two and a half months after conception. See this beautiful hand? Torn apart by a man or a woman who calls herself a doctor. Legally, with the protection of the law. The so-called doctor and the so-called mother did this to the child. In this nation that boasts on her money of liberty. And who can see these words? This is a very small coin. In God we trust. In God we trust, and yet we've murdered the children of God. Now, what does the Word of God say about murdering people made in His image? Genesis chapter 9, verse 6 says, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, and not just a man, whoever sheds human blood, whoever sheds human blood by man shall his blood be shed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Whoever sheds man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. This law was given to Noah. After God destroyed the entire earth with water. Everyone knows this story. The story of Noah. Right? God looked on the earth and their ways were wicked. And there was no man who did right except one. That man Noah. And God gave Noah this law. After he delivered Noah from the judgment, God said, this is how I will restrain murder. By giving this law, this is how I will stop people from killing one another. From murdering innocent people. By giving this law, whoever sheds the blood of a human being, an innocent person, by man, by man shall his blood be shed. Now today I want to tell you a story. Can I have my Bible? Please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> my friend, Pastor Paul Hill, was a great preacher. He had three beautiful children. And he was a young man in his 30s, his late 30s.